about to become one big happy family, or are they? Hmm. It is wonderful to meet you. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you must be so proud of this girl. Oh, oh we love her so much. A match made in heaven, huh? Yeah, so I've heard. <laughs> You guys okay? Oz got you started? Yeah, just slinging some concrete, getting the workout in. Is your back okay? It's, it's fine. Lo vas a sentir mañana, eh? What did he say? He said you'll feel it tomorrow. Well, today is the day the movie Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters starts streaming on Pure Flix. And if this Monday could not get any better for me, well, we've got one of the super duper stars of the film here with us this morning. This next guest is, without a single doubt, one of our favorite TV moms who you know from projects like Wizards of Waverly Place, Christella, Cramp Rock, just to name a few. She is beauty, brains, and talent personified. So please bow down to the marvelously beautiful Maria Canaz Barrera. Thank you, OG. Wow, what an introduction. Did I lie, people? Look at this. Did I lie? <laughs> Thank you. They're screaming no. I am just saying. <laughs> like, wh like, what is going on here? I can't even. We'll get, to, we'll get to that later. But when we say this movie is a family affair in more ways than one, we're not even kidding, because it also stars Mr. David Barrera, your husband of 23 years. 23, That's which right. clearly means that you love each other's company. So who got cast first, and how did the other get involved? Well, actually, David was asked to play uh, uh, Carlos, and um, and then they said, "Oh, maybe Maria can play his wife." And I jumped jumped at the chance because I actually, you know, married couples don't usually like working together, um, from what I've heard. But there are some, there are a few that actually enjoy it, and we we enjoy. It. We've done it like three or four times, and coincidentally, the actors that play the parents of the bride to be in the movie um, are also married, uh, Bart Johnson and Robin Lively. So that was pr pretty cool on set. Listen, so I say 23 years. I say you guys are due to write us a book or something for, because 23 years on Hollywood is like 2,300 <laughs> years in like yeah. life. Just saying. Yeah. So Strong yeah. Fathers, Strong Daughters is the title, but because you're in it, we know there's a strong mother in the mix. So explain what this movie's all about. Yes. Well, the movie is called Strong Father, Strong Daughters, and it does emphasize the importance of the father in a girl's life. You know, she is her her first hero is her dad. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a very like a subconscious thing, the power that a father has. I mean, if he does something a little bit right, it's a big deal in her mind, in her heart. If he does something a little bit wrong, it's a huge deal. The authority that a father has is huge. And this movie celebrates the importance and the, um, it really uh, encourages fathers to, to really be involved and engaged and know that they are enough and to be present and interested. And sometimes, you know, as moms, we tend to feel like, well, this is something for me to deal with you, honey, you, you sit back and, and I'll ask you when I need you. And actually, no, it really is, um, a very important role for the father to be very engaged in his daughter's life, physical affection, mm -hmm. and and it's it's more important than we even realize. And it's based on Meg Meeker's book, who is an author and a pediatrician, and it's just a fantastic book. Um, and the movie supports the truths of the book, yet it's very entertaining. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got right. the lead, the father, um, is mentored by the character of, my, my, of Carlos, who, who's my husband. David plays my, my husband, Carlos, and I, and we are missionaries from Mexico that help with an orphanage. And um, we've had, you know, three daughters in the story. So my husband in the movie gives the lead, Steve, the book, because he's having yeah. trouble raising his daughter in her 20s, the middle daughter in her teens, and the younger daughter in elementary school. So it really covers all the bases. Of course it does. You're in it. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be fun. <laughs> We're going to learn from it. And if there's it's anyone really who has mastered the art of playing moms through the curse of their career, it would be yeah. you. Because, But you also have real life experience. So you didn't really, you, yes. when you play moms, you don't really need to prep because you have a, a lovely, wonderful family. There you are. And Maria, in addition to your most important role being a mom in real life, we, we have yeah. seen you steadily working over the years. Wizards of Waverly Place, Christella, our producers yelling Camp Rock in my ear, and yeah. terms of voiceover <laughs> work, Hawk Girl, The Proud Family, Justice League. And I was going to ask if acting has always been your dream, but this picture from your yearbook tells me you are living <laughs> your dream. Because, <laughs> no, seriously, it says Maria aspires 
to be an actress of stage and screen. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you know, OG was a passion that I always followed. And, um, you know, I never th thought that I would have such a, um, a pattern of playing moms, but I love it. And I realize in my own life how important it is for me to be the best mom I can be as I grow older. So it makes sense that um, I got a chance to do so much of it and still do being a, a mom figure on TV. And, you know, when people stop me because of Wizards being such an enormously popular show, I get stopped at least once a day mm -hmm. and told beautiful things like, you were my mom, my childhood. Aww. I wished you were my real mom. I mean, just really amazing things. And I'm, I'm always touched. I, it never bothers me. It is such a, they can interrupt me. They can stop me on the street. If they're going to tell me something like that, I'm honored to be told such, such a wonderful thing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that it never bothers you, but you know what bothers me? Mm -hmm. How is this? So, you, first of all, like everyone's like, that's, uh, Alex just ran out. She's like, that's Wizards of Waverly Place mom? They're like, how is that possible? So that's what bothers me. You're like, I, I've been playing a mom for so long. Really? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? Like, what are you doing? Is this just the joy of like having love in your life or, or like a genetic slash everything? Tell us, teach us your ways, please. Well, you know, Thank you, first, You're first of all. My, my mom had great skin, and my mom was very glamorous, and my mom would teach us about taking care of our skin and always wash your face before you go to sleep, and if you have a, a pimple, don't pop it, don't touch it. I mean, my mom was really into skin care, and um, it's something that I enjoy. One of my best friends is an esthetician. We talk about products. and um, I try a bunch of different things, and I give my friends, you know, tips on oh, I found this great product, you know, and you got to start retinol in your 40s, you know, all the <gasps> tips that we read about. Yeah. But really, it's about consistency. And my mom used to always say, actually, she would say hygiene. Hygiene is number one. Keeping your skin, your, your skin clean, cleaning your pill, you know, washing your pillowcases, your hair, your phone. I mean, things like that really make a difference, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love that segment you did at the African market. Yeah. I was like, oh, I want to know those soaps. I told you. I told you we're <laughs> friends now. You're coming with Ben and I the next time we'll go, just so you know. We'll take you with us. And since I'm your friend now, feel free to share your tips with me like you share with your other friends. So I'm not left out. Let me tell you. It's such an honor, such a pleasure. So nice chatting with you, Maria. Everyone at home, home movie Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters starts streaming today on Pure Flix. Check it out. Bask in her glory in more ways than one. Thank you, Maria. Such a pleasure. See you Thank soon. Thank you so much, Reggie.